Hello everybody and welcome to today's children's liturgy. I've got my crown on. It's a really special day. It's the feast of Christ the King and our candle is burning and flickering away there reminding us of that wonderful light of Jesus who is King of all the world and we are going to praise him today. So let's get ready to begin our liturgy and we'll make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as we're saying, it's a really special feast day today. It's the feast of Christ the King. Jesus is King of all the world, of all the universe. And in the gospel, we're going to hear Jesus asking us to do something really special for him. He wants us to see his face in everybody. So let's get ready to listen to today's gospel and then we are going to talk about how Jesus is King and how we can celebrate that. So let's get ready to praise him, praising our King. And off we go. Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> going to read today's gospel. Jesus told his disciples, one day I will return in glory and I will turn to you and say, when I was hungry you fed me, when I was thirsty you gave me something to drink, when you didn't know me you made me welcome. When I had nothing to wear, you gave me some clothes. When I was ill, you took care of me. And when I was alone, you came to visit me. And you will ask, when did I do all these things for you, Lord? And I will tell you, whenever you did any of these things for others, you did them for me, and because of your goodness, you will share in the glory of my kingdom. What a wonderful gospel today. What good news indeed from Jesus our King. He said to his disciples, when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. You cared for me when I was sick, and the disciples would say, well, Jesus, I don't remember doing those things for you. And Jesus says that when we do things to other people, that we're really doing it for him. So when we care for somebody who's not feeling very well, we are doing it for Jesus. And he knows how much we love him when we do those things. And we can glorify Jesus and we can make Jesus' love so great when we do the good things for other people. And that's what Jesus is asking us to do today, to see his face in others. That when we care for people, we're caring for him. If you're sharing something with somebody, you're really sharing with Jesus. If, you, if you're saying something kind to somebody, you're being kind to Jesus. And Jesus says that he will always notice when we do the good things. And that is how we're going to be with him in heaven because Jesus is king and his kingdom is all about love and kindness. So we're celebrating today that great news that Jesus is our king and that wonderful kingdom of love. And what I thought we could do today is to make a crown like the one I'm wearing. Loads of my stickers have been falling off it, but I've had a go at decorating it. And I thought that we could think about today's gospel while we're decorating our crowns. So I've got some words here that you could stick on your crowns. So I've got care, like caring for somebody who's not feeling very well or caring for somebody who's feeling upset. You could stick that on your crown to remind you that when we do things for other people, we're doing them for Jesus our King. Another word here I have got is love. Showing love to other people always, just like Jesus asks us to do. 
says it's the most important rule, loving God and loving other people. So we're going to show love for Jesus, who is our King. And I've also got Be Kind here that I'm going to stick on my crown. Quite tricky sticking it on. So you can have a think about how you can see Jesus in others and how you can be Jesus to other people, how you can show that kindness on, and the love of Jesus to other people. And remember that when we do those things for others, we're doing them for Jesus too. Isn't that a wonderful, wonderful thing? Every time we do something good, we're doing it for Jesus and he sees that. And that's why he's our best friend. Let's sing a song now. I thought we could do a good celebratory one. So we're going to sing it to the tune of the Hokey Cokey. And it goes like this. You came for everyone, you are God's only son. Jesus Christ, you are the number one. You said love one another and to follow you. That's what we all will do. Cause Jesus, you are the king. Jesus, you are the king. Jesus, you are the king. We love you with all our hearts. Let's try it again together. You came for everyone. You are God's only son. Jesus Christ, you are the number one. You said love one another and to follow you. That's what we all will do. Cause Jesus, you are the king. Jesus, you are the king. Jesus, you are the king. We love you with all our hearts. Yay! Jesus is king. Christ the king. What a wonderful feast day. We are so joyful and excited to be celebrating today this wonderful feast of Christ the king. And it's also the very last feast and the last day in our church calendar. The last feast and the last day in year A. Next Sunday, we're going to be in year B and we're going to go into the season of Advent and a new church year. So this is the end of our church year. And what a celebration we can have to end that church year, knowing that Jesus is King of us all. What wonderful news. Let's now join our hands to say a little prayer together. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we praise you for you are our King. We praise you for you are our King. May we see your face in all people. May we see your face in all people. And may we glorify you by showing love and kindness always. And may we glorify you by showing love and kindness always. Amen. And we'll end our children's liturgy there by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy feast, everybody. The feast of Christ the King. I think I'm going to go and eat some cake now. We'll see you next time for our new church year for the season of Advent next week. How exciting. Goodness me, there is so much to celebrate at the moment. So have a lovely week, everybody. Enjoy making your crowns and thinking about how you can share God's love this week and how you can see the face of Jesus in others. Stay safe, everyone, and have a lovely week. God bless. Bye-bye.